This is the four-hole challenge. We're down here at the beautiful belfry of the Brothers and Course, and I've been joined by the big dog. It's only Peter Finch. Hello, Pete, mate. How are you? I'm good, mate. Yeah? I've never been called big dog this time in the morning. Well, you are a YouTube big dog, any, in my opinion, any mate. Any time of the day, to be honest. <laughs> um, I appreciate that. Well, thank you very much. No problem at all. Uh, guys, if you uh, enjoy our content, please give us a like and subscribe and hit that notification button. And if you haven't already, I'd imagine you have, because he's a big dog. Go check his channel out. It's double decent. Right, let's go. Four! Right, so Pete, you tell me you've had a, a good night's sleep. Mate, I have had two good nights sleep in one night. Preparation, yeah? Yeah, but now I'm, feel, I'm feeling completely dazed and confused. I'm feeling like I'm... I don't feel like this is completely real at the moment. <laughs> just meeting you, mate. It's yeah. just completely spaced me out. <laughs> like, what is this? Golf? This is your life? I just don't know. Right. Mate, as soon as I hit the first shot, you won't have to worry at all. Don't worry about that. Uh, to be honest, I'm worried. This is a, like a slice of wind. And if I'm going to miss, this is going to be on the national. So we'll start off on the first of the brab. We'll end up finishing on the second of the national, I'll be. All right. Just going to use, use the wind to help my slice here. Tactical slice. Oh, no, it's a high toe slice. It's kind of what I imagined in my dreams. Oh, oh that's it's big, don't it? Horrendous shot. Horrendous? Tubes, I almost took a divot with my driver, mate. I'll take that all day long. <laughs> I would take that all day long. <laughs> oh, gee. Four right! It's gone though, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, this. <laughs> I mean, the driver has got some power, to be fair. So, got to like, the, uh... I, like, I was joking, so that's on the 18th of the Derby. That's two courses away. <laughs> but the wind's going the wind's going that way. Wind's oh, going that way. <laughs> mine was mine was an unacceptable shot for me. Yeah. Yours was I suppose a <laughs> unacceptable shot for anyone. <laughs> but <laughs> it went forward. I mean that's the main thing. It did go forward. But it was it was got some good power behind it. But um, how a lot of enthusiasm. There's a lot of enthusiasm. I just There's love golf. How long have you been playing for, mate? So I started, I suppose, for a kind of a pro, picks up relatively late, so probably around 13, 14. I was always more into, I was always more into my football as a kid. Yeah. And then I started to play both sports, and by the time I was kind of 16, it was probably obvious that I was going to make a better golfer than I was a footballer. So I just didn't enjoy running. Yeah? So, so what sort of football were you? Um, well, <laughs> when I was a kid, I was a brilliant centre forward, okay. but I've been this size since I was like 12. So, right, so okay, kind of the, target man. Yeah, so the rest of the teams basically... Bouncing off, yeah. Yeah, so I was like against centre-backs this high, yeah. so just like walk past them. Then the keeper was that high, so I could shoot from 20 yards away, they're still going to go in. So I kind of got a self, maybe a, <laughs> a slightly different perspective on how good of a footballer I was at the time. Right. And then when everyone else started to grow up, it was kind of, I was still all right, but I was much better at, much better at golf. And then I got injured at football and I missed golf more when I couldn't play oh, golf. Really? Yeah, so I did my back playing football. And that's the only time I injured my back playing football. I've never injured playing golf. And I, was, and I was like, you know what? I just, there's no point trying to do both. No. You gotta just, you, if you wanna be good you've at, got, you've, got, you've gotta focus, yeah. So I focused on my golf and it's turned out okay in the end, yeah. I think. And um, who got you into golf? Uh, it was my dad. So my dad played, and he was also he was mad into his football as well. So he was he was on the books at North End back in the day. And oh, it, it. Yeah, he was, he's a he's a classic. Could have been amazing, but did me knee, did me knee. <laughs> We've all he's, had trials, Mr. Finch. Well, he, said, yeah. <laughs> he said the best story he tells you is like he used to he did his knee in training, yeah. and um, he got into the medical kind of room. They basically carried him in, and his his knee had like come out, and it was like. It was up on the bench a bit like that. Yeah. And the old and the old physio his his idea of treating it basically put two hands on it and shoved it back down. He said he shoved it back down. My dad almost headbutted the physio when he came up like that. And he said if he had a, if he had a good physio we could have made it, but for that physio really <laughs> was his like, career, yeah. Shot. But he was yeah, he was decent player, decent golfer and he kinda of got me into it and that was kind of the, the goal really once he got me into it to try and beat him. And once I started doing that, I thought, you know what, yeah, I could, I could do it a little bit more now. Yeah, so. And then you beat him. Yeah. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> and now he's, and that he, always, he wants to play all the time now, so he can beat me. <laughs> uh, 
Sounded good. I don't know where it's gone. Go on, Wind. Go on. Go, go, go. So did you play um, a good standard of football when you were younger before you got injured? Uh, yeah, I was okay. I mean, we had a really good Sunday league team that kind of basically won everything in the area. Played for a town team a bit. Had one, <laughs> one amazing game for the town team where there was a few scouts there. Oh, yeah. Like, completely bossed it, like, Messi-style bossed it performance. Messi-style? Messi-style oh, yeah. bossed yeah, it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, bear in mind, this is the north of England, so <laughs> I kicked it long really well. Yeah, right, great. And yeah. I was just like, the best long kick of that game, unbelievable. <laughs> but it was, it was brilliant. And then the next Sunday League match that we had, there was like five or six, kind of more scouts there, like all the Prem teams. Wow. And I was like, honestly, it really was that good a performance. And I was yeah. like, oh my God, this is it. And like, first minute, I like, just, through, received it, beautiful bit of movement. Just sprinting past like a 13 year old kid. You know, I could do this. <laughs> sprinting past that, open goal, rounded the keeper, and then missed it. Open, open ah. goal, missed it. It was on my left foot, right? but it was 10, 10 yards out, open goal, so I missed it. And then the rest of that game, I was shocking. What, well, Edwin? Shocking, I was so bad. And like my dad, so I think I was young enough not to understand what my head going was actually like. Right. But yeah, my head went. <laughs> head went, arse went, feet went. Everything went, just went away, yeah. Just my body left on the course. Well, and then the scouts just went, nah. <laughs> just petered off one by one. <laughs> like, this tra me, Finch, like this tragic, like petals leaving the rose throughout the game, just like drifting off. <laughs> just walking like that. Honestly, my dad, my dad after, even my dad afterwards, like, you know, dad's pretty supportive. Yeah, yeah. He was like, I hope, I, I really hope they weren't here to watch you. <laughs> but they were. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Literally it. Oh, wind's getting in my eyes. I'm not crying, really. I'm <laughs> crying a little. Come on, come on, mate. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't expect this to be so in emotion. <laughs> <laughs> Loft will do the work. You don't need to help it up in the air too much. Just no. oh. proper swing. Oh, go on. Oh. Well, just the duff and run I was after that. That was shocking. Come on. Strike, mate. Very good. I'll take that. Good shot. That. Take that. Oh, that is not a terrible roll, really. You can have that one if you Thank want. Thank you, sir. Double bogey. Pete Finch gets a par. Just, just off camera, I was slagging this putter off. <laughs> Best putter in golf, this one. <laughs> Pete Finch, 1-0 up on the four-hole challenge. <laughs>
did a few coaching videos, got used to it, got used to the editing, all the rest of it, and then from there, it's <laughs> it's just completely different. So coaching videos are the least thing I do now. Yeah. And now it's just all about, well, well it's about everything to do with golf. There's a tree coming up. Right behind your tree. <laughs> there we go. That's just why it's a four old, <laughs> this is why it's a four old challenge. And then, yeah, I was just, from that point, I was like, well, you know, how we can, do, how we can develop it, what we can do. And like culminating this week, I've got like a couple of guys here who've just like worked for me. And yeah. I've never had anyone kind of <laughs> work with me so before. I was surprised when you said that, because you said last week I got the, some guys in. So for the last six years, you've done all that yourself? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, my brother-in-law, uh, John, he's an editor, a videographer. So the big projects I played in, um, BMW Pro Am yeah, last yeah. year, which was amazing, but I couldn't, I couldn't handle all that myself. So no, cool. got John down there with his, with his big rig helping me out. But apart from that, yeah, just me and a camera and just, just bashing through it really. But it's been good because I've been able to teach myself a lot of the skills now. Yeah. So if I'm having a conversation with someone who's editing, I mean, listen, I'm not, I'm not an amazing editor, but I can kind of understand a bit more about that side of things. Yeah. I can understand where to put camera and things like that, which you know, six years ago were completely, completely alien to me. Wow. It was, it, I've not done anything really. So from a learning curve point of view, it's been, been massive, been huge. Cool. And you mentioned Rick there. Is that Rick Shields? Rick Shields, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because you two are obviously the biggest YouTubers in the English market on YouTube. Who's the better golfer? Oh, <laughs> me. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Rick. <laughs> It's me. Um, Why are you saying that? We do a kind of a match every year, golf bit of challenge, and like I've done it for four years now. This year's our fifth year. Yeah. And we're two all at the moment. Ooh. So this year's a bit of a, a bit of a decider. Oh wow! All that line. Oh wow! Spin, oh, mate. That is a joke. That like that spin. That is seriously good golf. Come on. Come on, come around, come around, come around. Come around. <laughs> Who's the best golfer you've worked with? Uh, Player-wise? Yeah. Um, I just work with some scratch golfers, some kind of plus handicaps, but I don't work with, from a, from a personal point of view, I don't work with pros. So, <laughs> That's something that I do want to get into a little bit later on, but yeah. you can't do it at the moment. Because you've met, you've met quite a few pro golfers. Now. Yeah, yeah. And to be fair, like you've filmed with Matt and Beef, haven't you? So yeah. they're, they're top lads anyway. But some tour pros, they're so focused and they're so self-driven. Right. That if a tour pro's phoning me like this morning, yeah. he'd, he'd gonna to want to speak, he'd want an answer. Right. And we just can't stop and be like, oh, you know, hang on, I've got. Yeah, yeah. I've got Tiger on the phone. <laughs> you know what? Hey, hold up, Tiger. I'm gonna I think that's pro I think that's probably the only chance that I'm gonna have to actually stop doing any of this. Yeah, yeah. Tiger gives me your phone. You're gonna have to give up YouTube. You can be my coach. Okay. <laughs> but imagine, imagine teaching Tiger. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Well, you wouldn't have to do anything. Just point them in the right direction. Yeah. No, I'm, so, I'm saying that. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm always mentally thinking what I'd be like coaching Tiger. Just imagine how much you brick yourself when you turn around and actually ask you a technical question. Like, uh, um, I, um, just carry on. Yeah. Just, just carry on, Tiger. You do what you're doing, Tiger. <laughs> but who's the best golfer you've met, what, as in uh, bloke-wise? Because obviously I've met Fitzpatrick and Beef, and they're both hilarious. Beef's quality, yeah. Beef's great. Um, oddly enough, I got, it's kind of that, a little bit of a cliche, but I met, um, played with Norrin in the pro man last year. Amazing. And I've loved, I've loved I love Norrin. I have loved Norrin. Yeah, he loves for Norrin. quite some time. Just his swing and just everything kind of about the way he approaches it. He's like a proper old school dig it out of the dirt pro. Like yeah. he's supposed to pitch up his hands, looking yeah. like he's put him in a blender after his practice. And yeah. it's just like, oh, proper man's man. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's not really just build him up in my head so much. <laughs> but that was the thing. So I met him and I was like, oh, what's he going to be like? Yeah. And on camera, he was quite quiet, but off camera, just such like a nice bloke. Cheers. So nice, yeah, just oh, like that's chatting, chatting all the way down the fairway. He's being really friendly, just open, just really, really nice guy. Yeah. And I was so pleased as well. So I like, built him up in my head so much. Well, they say never meet your heroes, yeah, don't and they? He, and he's just such a lovely chap. But I've not, I've not really met any pros yet. And the last few years, lucky to meet quite a few. Yeah. I've not met any that have been, why, well, you know, that I wouldn't want to work with again. Yeah. They've all been great. But yeah, tour pros and pros are just. Just lads, just guys. Just guys just, good at golf. Just, just guys are yeah. good at golf, yeah. And I think once you get over that, you're a little bit less awestruck. Yeah, yeah. But 
Just guys, they're all good, they're all good. Happy days, right, on to the green. That was good. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was going to fall down the hill a bit more. So Pete, on the uh, channel, if you get a birdie, you've got to do the birdie dance. Okay. Which goes like... So yeah, crack on. <laughs> now, if I hold, it's going to be more of an accident than I'm meaning to now. Oh wow, okay. I've had nowhere near enough coffee for that. For God's sake. <laughs> oh, there's more! Right, okay. What a birdie! Oh, awesome! I feel like you've used me. I feel like I'm dancing, my for, little, like, my dancing for likes. My little <laughs> dancing for clicks. Like you've pulled me out of the busty brunette on a Saturday night. <laughs> This is not good enough. I really hope there's not a strip club called Busty Brunette somewhere. <laughs> this is not good enough. Mr. Finch, 2 0 up, absolute whipping. Gee. Oh, on top of the bunker. Oh, nice. There we go. Come on. Is that a bit more of your normal shape? That's, yeah. The drawing. I normally do, yeah. yeah. That was good. Uh, Pete, you do a series on your uh, YouTube channel called Quest for the Open. Mm -hmm. um, is there a lot of pressure to film in that and actually yeah. trying to qualify for the Open? Yeah, uh, it's, it's tough because, I mean, playing golf, listen, playing golf, <laughs> it's... <laughs> You shouldn't really say that it's kind of hard and it's pressurized because, listen, I get to say that my job is to kind of be involved with golf and to play golf. Yeah. So when anyone looking for the outside in, like, well, bloody hell, I'd much rather be doing that than sat in my office from nine to five. Yeah, yeah. But when you're doing something publicly, yeah. so when you, when you give out a goal publicly, they say, oh, this is what I want to do. The stage is to get there. I'm going to play in these comps. I'm going to post my result. I'm going to show you my practice. All of a sudden, if you're like playing a comp and you've had a bad start, all of a sudden you're like, oh no, what's going to be? Like, I'm going to have to, imagine my video after, <laughs> like me just on, yeah. on the edge. Like, oh no, Hello, another, another 79 just sat under a tree, <laughs> just a bottle of, bottle of vodka by the side of me, just wondering where it all went wrong. But conversely to that, when you have the highs, it's yeah. great because you can share it with everyone and, and, my, and mostly everyone is so positive. So you have a bad round, you share it, it's like, Hey, don't worry, you're going to bounce back. Yeah. You're going to be fine. Then you have a good round. It's like, oh, I knew you'd be great. <laughs> great. And it's, it's, it's great for the old confidence. Oh, it's, it's amazing. And it, it is good. I mean, it's, it's the best part. Obviously, you get people who are quite friendly, but like most of the people who watch, most of the people who engage, yeah. they're so positive, so supportive because they want to see people succeed. Yeah. Especially on YouTube when they've got to, you've not come from it from a position of, you know, I've, I've kind of gone from being coaching pro to, Build then building up. myself up so people have been able to follow the journey yeah and people get so much more invested yeah when it's like that rather than just dropping in and you know doing something for no reason but it's got a goal youtube just like you said is a nice it's a nice platform isn't it like people like i've started the youtube channel like a year ago yeah the amount of people like keep going keep going i'm like oh, it's, it's so nice you just want to keep doing it because you know it's but, you, so... but you can be yourself as well of oh, course cool. so i know with soccer i have i know you you're kind of your own personality there as well but well, back in the day when I was rapping, I wasn't going to yeah. all that. that. That was a bit old. That was a bit of an act. Yeah. But now I can. Be but you can just like relax that. a bit more. Yeah, of course. And, and that's what YouTube does as well. It just allows you, if you want to, just relax and just be yourself. And it's great because if you can be yourself and people like watching, that's amazing because they're not paying to watch or anything. No. They're choosing to spend that time yeah. watching. That's amazing. Because I, I when I started doing this, the four hole challenge, I thought, no one's going to sit there for 45 minutes and watch me go and play golf oh. with it. Everyone's like, I put out a little funny sort of par three, which people do like as well, yeah, which yeah, luckily. Yeah. But they're like, where's the next four-hole challenge? I'm like, wow, people actually do like watching 45 minutes of it. People like people sit down to watch golf normally. 
Yeah. Like the, point, they'll yeah. sit down, they'll watch it. If you think about like when you're watching a tournament, yeah. I mean, that's spread over three, four hours. People sit down and watch that. So taking 20 yeah. minutes, half an hour to watch a golf video from someone they like with, you know, I guess you've been getting on, you know. <laughs> you've, obviously, you've obviously gone through your contacts book <laughs> and you're like, oh, who's at the bottom here? Oh no, Don't he's not, he's not. Oh Pete, oh, he'll be up for it, yeah, we'll get him in. Don't be in it. Well, I've had all these guys on who, brilliant, like the stories that they've been telling and everything, it's just, it's awesome. So yeah. people want to engage with that because at the end of the day, if they're watching golf on TV and, you know, you've seen like beef, match, 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 whatever, you've seen them hit shots, yeah. which is great. But then the cameras, the cameras not on them saying, yeah, oh, you know, tell us about this. Because you can't do in competition. But this just allows us to be more relaxed and engaging, and it's such a great platform to actually express yourself and to tell other people's stories as well yeah. that you wouldn't normally get through conventional media. That's why it's, that's why it's great. Nice. Jeez, that was a bit of a monologue. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Thank you talk, very much. Talk, <laughs> talking about people staying in, <laughs> your retention levels just dived. Oh, I like I'm it. sorry, sorry about that. I've got my frigging soapbox. <laughs> But on the quest for the... Uh... Oh, sorry, no, yeah, you're, we're, we're, we're carrying on, I'm on the right good chat. Sorry, sorry. Good chat. Go, go quest, yeah. You say you suffer from nerves. Is that something you've always had when playing golf? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, it's, it's better now, right. just because I've learned to actually not control, the control's not the right word, it's more of an acceptance. So I had a, not exactly a light bulb moment, but certainly last year, playing with some better players, you just notice how when I go into a comp, well, how I used to go into a comp, it was very much first few holes, I'll get some pars. Oh, oh, I've not had a double there, that's all right. I've had a bogey, that's right. okay. And then like slowly try and build momentum. But the better players who you play with, you'll notice they're on the first hole and they want to get a birdie. Right, okay, this is interesting. It's a different this. mindset. Like this. you don't have time to be, if you get into a mindset of on that first hole, okay, I'm going to start this with a birdie. Yeah. All of a sudden, like those nerves, it's kind of like, they kind of go to the side because you don't have time. You don't have time to be nervous. If you're trying to get birdies, right. you don't have get time. It, get it, get it, get it. And then like in a really highly pressurised situation, so first tee shot of open qualifying is always quite nervous because you've got a lot of people following, obviously yeah. you've been building it up. And the first first of the comp that I've been at in recent years, it's not a driver. It's like a three wood or a driver night. Right. So automatically your bum's getting a bit twitchy. Yeah, yeah. It's not a big head. It's got to get a big driver. <laughs> it's got to get that. Yeah. it down there. So it's like a three wood or an iron. So this year especially, I was like so nervous and like just trying to just trying to control my breathing doesn't really work for me because I keep forgetting about it. Yeah. Keep forgetting how to breathe. But <laughs> that, that might be a problem. Yeah, it's like yeah. so it stood on there, like stood over a minute. You're like, oh crap, I'm not, I'm not breathing. <laughs> it's not sputtering. But I've actually learned to say when you are nervous, yeah, just say okay, just accept it. Just say okay, I'm nervous. Like no point fighting it because yeah, yeah. you're never going to fight them away. It's just no. like okay, I'm nervous. What, well, what does that mean? I said, oh, okay, I'm, it means I'm excited to be here. It means that this means something, which is yeah. also quite key. So once you accept that, and it's like, well, I'm excited, it means something, just concentrate on the shot, just hit the shot, and just accept it. And it makes it so much easier when you're not trying to fight. Once you accept it, it's great, because then you've got control. Yeah. If you take it in, you've got control. If you try and push it away, it's always going to be eating at you. Right, that's so, yeah, I'm getting, a, I'm getting a lot better. I love that. Nice. Sit down a touch. I think I think it'll be fine. Yeah. I think it'll be fine. Oh. Meant it. Oh. So Pete, if you could uh, go on a night out with three golfers, past or present. Big night out. I'm talking like nightclubbing, giving it large, cutting Flares. shapes on the dance floor. Yeah, proper. Okay. Who would it be? Um, <laughs> um, I'd have maybe said five or six years ago, probably Tiger. <laughs> yeah, not so much now. Not so much now. A bit of a change, man. Um, <laughs> so let's go. Let's go old school. Let's say Sam Snead. Yeah. Because he was a bit of an animal, apparently. Um, shall we keep Tiger in there? I don't know. I think Tiger would be a little bit too famous. Because like yeah. you, you, know, you get all the attention, won't you? That's true. So maybe not. <laughs> I'm gonna go for a journeyman. So let's go. <laughs> let's go for a journeyman. <laughs> so, so you get all the attention. So next is gonna be Charles Howell the third. A lot of money. Probably seems like a very friendly guy. Yeah. And obviously won't hog hog all the limelight. Fair enough. So me and Charles yeah. smashing the planks in flares. <laughs> That's what it would be. And yeah, Sam Snead. Um, yeah. Oh, let's go Tiger. Got to invite him out. Yeah. Yeah. You letting Tiger come? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. He can be a designated you're not, driver. You're not, yeah, to get him to drive. <laughs> <laughs> you and Charles in the we're, back. We're going to keep, oh, Tiger, stop, just gonna keep him safe. I just want to keep him safe. Yeah. I don't want to get in any trouble. Yeah, so Tiger can drive. So I do.
Nice. Right, what have we got here? <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, you f At least the sun's out, we're all having a good time. <laughs> Sounded good. On the dance floor, mate. That's a bit nice. long, but it's on the dance floor. Oh, on the dance, right. dance, 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 dance machine. Hello. 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 Oh! <laughs> yeah! Absolutely drained. Yeah! <laughs> That's why we play golf, Pete. That's why we play golf. Absolute pants all the way round. Sinks are good and yes. That never looks. Oh, I love golf. Anywhere else. <laughs> I'm so busted. <laughs> oh, oh, that sticks you right up, isn't it? <laughs> Absolute bubble, isn't it? Yeah, well, this time of year, innit? Can't do anything about it. Just happy to be out on a green. Yeah, true. Do you want us to finish, finish this? Not at all. I was just going to say well done, but it looked like you were going to. Well. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> I, just, I just wanted you to get your. Uh... I'm just so good. That. <laughs> getting framed. <laughs> anyway, Mr. Pete Finch has won 3-0, but I'm having so much fun, I'm going to carry on. Pete, you're the man in the know. <laughs> Golf Premier League. Yeah. What is it exactly? And what are your thoughts on it? So <laughs> I hear I hear something slightly different every time. Yeah, that's why uh, I asked you, because I don't know. The, essentially think of it as a well literally think of it as a football league. So you've got players in there who are then kind of grouped into different teams and however high you finish up, I think they was talking about having some kind of relegation system in in place as well. Isn't there groups of four like, like four players I'm yeah and like one of them is like some kind of wild card pick you can see this getting pretty close you know nailed that drive just all that put oh, mate it's adrenaline's pumping but like you, what you were saying earlier it's the confidence the confidence like so i've hit that that part and i've gone right i'm, I'm good now yeah it's, it's weird oh yeah it's weird i mean golf like any sport is momentum isn't it if you yeah. get on a good run like you it's going to carry you forward goal's tricky because you've got it resets after every single shot, yeah. so everything's a new challenge. You just got to approach every shot with that mentality. Yeah. If you approach every shot with the mentality of this could be my best ever shot, and then try and do it. Yeah. Great. Because I did, I did this with um, your mate Seb. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and he said golf's ninety percent mental. I think at a certain level. So at the elite level, it's yeah ninety five percent. Yeah. Because they could all get a good shot. It's then how do you focus and concentrate for. A, a higher handicap, you know, you can think incredibly well. But if you slap the ball everywhere, yeah. you're not going to play good golf, are you? <laughs> yeah, true. So it's more, it gets more technical. You've got to improve more technically the higher handicap you have before yeah. okay. the mental aspect starts to come in. It makes a massive difference, obviously, but yeah, a higher handicap, you've got to kind of work on the swing as much as you work on your mental game. You've got a golf psychologist. Mm -hmm. How important are they? Um, for a tour pro, very. Yeah. For an amateur, not so much. But what's, so what's a golf psychologist actually doing? Are they going like focus, like, all like focus, like calm, deep? Is not, it breathing and stuff like that? A, or? A, a lot of it is. It's not so much how to think. It's just how to think a little bit more correctly. But it doesn't. It doesn't take a genius in many respects to have the basis of sports psychology. So let's say you hit a good shot here. Yeah. What most golfers will do, they'll hit a good shot. They'll put the club in the bag, walk to the green, without yeah. really having much emotion, because it's what's expected. They expect it a good shot. And yet, if you fat this one in the water, and your reaction is really angry, yeah. you're attaching such an angry emotion to it, that the next time you come over this shot, you're going to remember the bad shot. Right. So what, you, what most amateurs really need to do is when they hit a good shot, like, celebrate. Like, properly attach. Like me back yeah. there with it, the, yeah. But the thing is, next time you're over a long putt, 
You'll oh, remember that. I want to do it again. You'll remember it because you're like, oh God, I've, I just stole the putt. I said, wow, that's amazing. Like, even like two months down the line, you got a left to right or up the hill, you'll be like, all right, I can do this. I can do this. I've done this. But you need to be able to recall it quick. That's what like Tiger's kind of said this quite a lot, but a lot of the best tour players and Freddie Couples, Freddie Couples, if you think about the most relaxed golfer on the planet. Yeah. So his whole pre-shot routine, that's what well, you got there, a wedge. Yeah. So he just shrug his shoulders with a wedge, remember the best shot he's ever hit with that club, and then go hit it. That's it. That's mad, isn't but it? How, how, that's so different, isn't it? It's brilliant. Because what are most amateurs thinking? Oh, don't fat it, don't yeah, spin it, it, don't slice the water, it. Don't, there's a bunker there, there's a bunker there, there's a goose there, I might hit that. Yeah. You know, you, your body responds to self-talk, so if you're constantly filling it with all these images of what you don't want to happen, it's gonna like happen. your brain's gonna, it's gonna struggle to figure out what you do and what you don't want. If you've got a clear image of what has happened and what you do want to happen, yeah. the chances are you're gonna react in a way which is more likely to make that happen again. But it's hard, because golf, you do have that time to think. I always think that golf, if it was more reactionary, it'd be better. Yeah. But yeah, you've got the time to think, the best to think of it positively. So right. think about the best wedge shot you've ever hit. I'm gonna do a Freddie Couples then. So shrugging those shoulders. To be honest, just feel that last putt. Think about that last Did putt. Did he walk like this as well? Come on, Freddie. That's Freddie after a few Freddies, I think. But... <laughs> Come on. No. Pete, the last question on the four hole challenge that I ask everyone on the four hole challenge. If you could have a caddy, anyone in the world, past or present, to be your caddy for the day, who would it be? Doesn't have to be a golfer. Can be anyone. What's the what's the situation? Is it like a special round or just a normal general just, round? You, you can play wherever you want. And you can have any caddy you want. Oh, hello. Well, so we're playing at Augusta then, obviously. Yep. Let's go straight there. Well, I don't know because if it was Augusta, then I'd probably just want my dad to caddy. Nice touch. So I so said that'd be quite yep. that'd be quite nice. But let's say he was indisposed. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be. <laughs> we should find he's a way to be his, he's getting disposed. His knees smashed, yeah. Yeah. He's hobbling <laughs> yeah. along. Um, I don't know. Someone probably not someone in golf. Someone just really interesting who'd have like a million stories. That's someone like, I don't know, I think off the top there, like Barack Obama, something like that. Did you got Barack Obama? Well, just imagine like the stories. That Joel Ward said that. Did he? Joel Ward said Barack Obama. I mean, just, I mean, that'd just be amazing. Like, some, oh, he's, he's a golfer as well, actually, to be fair. Yeah. But someone like that, you just imagine if you want to one with him, like he'd be telling you stories and you're probably like, is he actually just making this up? <laughs> like, is this actually real? Because yeah. he could tell come you anything. Come on, Barrett. He, would, he could here. literally tell you anything you believe in. Yeah. You're like, oh, what about, yeah, what about Area 51, Barrett? <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy <laughs> stuff in there, man. <laughs> Do not go in. <laughs> it's Do like, not. Oh, what's in there? He said, oh, yeah, yeah, it's real, it's real. I don't know. You, you believe him. You're like, all right. Yeah, I like all it. Right, fair enough. Barrett, yeah, so something like that would be good. I'm trying to arrange it. Well, like, be wicked, wouldn't it? Was he top of the list? Yeah, and Tiger Woods <laughs> drops you off. <laughs> All right, Tiger, pick us up here. It's three hours, yeah. please, mate. Barrack, how are you doing, mate? Yeah, three iron, please, pal. Good afternoon, you never know. I think we do, though, don't we? Yeah, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> we do, don't we? I think we've got a general idea. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Oh, that is woefully short. <laughs> oh, shit, oh. That was a bit harsh. That was a good putt. Mate, absolutely loved it. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Really appreciate Thank it. Thank you, dude. That was the four hole challenge with the top man, Peter Finch. Uh, please like and subscribe and go check out his channel. Thank Seriously, it is double decent. Top man. Cheers, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, guys, if you are coming over from my channel to watch Tues, please hit that subscribe button as well. Get into those comments as well. Top guy doing some really good stuff. So it'd be good to give him a follow. Golf life. <laughs>